resistor. A resistor is like a traffic controller for electric current. If we imagine electricity as water flowing through a pipe, the resistor is like a faucet that decides how much water can pass through. Each resistor has a specific value that tells us how much it will block or limit the flow of electricity. Where is it used? To protect devices from too much current. To dim lights. For example, a small LED always needs a resistor in front of it so it doesn't burn out. Capacitor. Think of the capacitor like a small water tank or a temporary battery. It stores electricity for a short time and then releases it when needed. Functions. Smoothing electricity. If the current has ripples or noise, the capacitor filters it and makes it cleaner. It gives a quick burst of energy when required. Everyday example, in radios or speakers, capacitors prevent the popping or noise you might hear. Inductor or coil. An inductor is simply a wire wound into a coil, like a spring. It stores energy not as electricity, but as a magnetic field. Functions used in filters to clean signals, found in radios to set frequencies. Everyday example, wireless phone chargers depend on coils. A coil inside the charger creates a magnetic field, and another coil inside the phone receives it and turns it back into electricity. Transformer. It changes high voltage into low voltage or the other way around. Main function, change the voltage level, step up or step down. Where do we see it? In phone chargers. Home electricity is about 220 volts, but your phone only needs five volts. The transformer makes this safe conversion. In power grids, transformers increase voltage to send electricity long distances, then lower it again before it reaches our homes. Diode. Diode is like a one-way valve or a door that only opens in one direction. It allows electricity to flow in only one direction and blocks it from going backward. Famous types, LED, light emitting diode, produces light. Zener diode, keeps voltage stable. Everyday example, phone chargers have diodes inside to protect them from reverse current. Without diodes, current could flow backward and destroy the circuit. Transistor. The transistor is the magic component of electronics. Works like a switch, turns current on or off. Works like an amplifier, makes small signals much stronger. Transistors are the reason modern technology exists. Computers and phones contain millions of them. Everyday example, in a microphone gives a very weak signal. A transistor amplifies that tiny signal so it can drive big speakers. Integrated circuit, or IC. Imagine packing thousands of tiny transistors into one chip, no bigger than your fingernail. That's an integrated circuit, or IC. Function, perform complex tasks in a compact package. Examples, the 555 timer IC or audio chips or graphic processors. Processor or microcontroller. This is the real brain of any smart device. It's a very advanced integrated circuit that performs millions of operations every second. Function, receive commands, process data, and make decisions. Everyday examples, in a washing machine, the processor decides when to let water in, when to spin the motor, and when to drain. In a smartphone, the processor does everything from running apps to opening the camera. Without processors, modern devices simply wouldn't exist.